Você que tá ouvindo esse podcast, que acha de uma empresa que sempre trabalha para trazer impacto positivo? Assim é o Google. Como? A Duda da Orb é um exemplo disso. Ela usa a inteligência artificial para ajudar pessoas a recuperarem seus movimentos. É a tecnologia mais útil na vida das pessoas. E tem o Jefferson da Tributei, que usa inteligência artificial para facilitar o dia a dia das empresas. Eles e milhares de empreendedores geraram mais de 188 bilhões com as plataformas do Google. Tem que ser bom para todo mundo. You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. This is Comedy Forecast for Friday, August 28, 2020. What you leave behind. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. Hi, Clinton here, and here is today's actual odd news story. If you've ever moved to a new address, you realize how much stuff you've accumulated over time. Well, there's one town you can move to where you actually are required to not bring something with you. Your steam-powered lawnmower? Uh-uh. Your collection of vintage empty yogurt cups? No. But seriously, throw those out right now. Before you move to Villa La Sestrala, you will have to lighten your load by having your appendix removed. Located at the tip of King George Island, the town is the home to the families of those who work at the Chilean military base. Oh, did I mention the town is in Antarctica? You know, that frozen place at the bottom of the world? Temperatures at Villa La Sestrala have an average as low as minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the harsh conditions, this plucky town includes a church, school, library, hostel, gym, internet access, an FM radio station, satellite TV, and even mobile phone service. Villa La Sestrala is the home to the only bank on the continent, and a post office, where you can send a letter that is postmarked Antarctica. How cool is that? Well, I mean, everything in Antarctica is cool. Very, very, very cool. And although the town population is only around 100 people, it receives up to 30,000 visitors a year. So naturally, there's also a gift shop. But back to that no appendix rule. Although the town does have a small hospital operated by the Chilean Air Force, the facilities are limited. The nearest major hospital is some 600 miles away across the icy ocean. That's why, in 2004, rules were put in place that state that all residents coming to the town, including children, must have their appendixes removed before arrival. Now, that part of the story is true. But I also wonder if this happened. Good news, soldier. You're about to have the adventure of a lifetime. You're going to Antarctica. This is your chance to get away from all the distractions of what the civilians call modern-day conveniences. Think of it, son. Just you, nature, and temperatures that will freeze your face off in seconds. Sounds like fun. Any questions? How's that? Vaccination shots? For what, son? There's nothing down there but snow and things covered with snow. Leave the snow where it is and you won't have any problems. But uh, now that you mention it, there is one small medical procedure we have to take care of first. Your appendix. We have to take it out. How's that? No, you don't get it back. Well, hold on a second now. I'm not a doctor. I just outrank them. Maybe you can get it back. Look... When they take it out, just hold on to it and figure out some way to keep it cold while you're down there. How's that? Put it outside your barracks. Outstanding, son. I knew we made the right choice when the rest of the base drew your name out of a hat. How's that? How many other names were in the hat? I tell you, son. But then I'd have to take out your appendix. That's a little military humor, son. Laugh it up. That's an order. All right. You ship out at 0800 hours tomorrow. How's that? I know it's a bit rushed, but the soldier you're replacing has a spa treatment at Waikiki he doesn't want to be late for. How's that? Any last-minute advice? If I were you, son, I'd go out there and find out who put your name into the hat, and then do the classic identity swap to get them shipped off to Hoth instead of you. 
Dismissed. Okay, maybe that didn't happen. But it could. Today's episode is part of Comedy Forecast's participation in Dog Days of Podcasting, a yearly challenge for podcasters to release an episode every day for 30 days at the end of the summer. This year's challenge runs from August 4th to September 2nd, 2020. For more information and to hear from all the other participating podcasts, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. But for now, as always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's, that's it. it. We're, We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. This is Jack Ward from the Mutual Audio Network and from all of us here, the entire United Artists of Audio, I want to thank everyone who has supported us. Listeners and producers, writers and actors, musicians and graphic artists who make audio drama and audio fiction. You inspire us all. And thanks for making a home here on Mutual, where we listen and imagine together.